Hello, I'm Amanda, founder and director of Inner Ecology. Our Chinese herbal prescription service provides high quality raw herbs of plant, animal, and mineral origin to board certified practitioners and their patients throughout the Midwest. So today you're most likely watching this video because you've received a formula for us and you're trying to understand what you should do with that formula. Your practitioner will need you to decoct it in order to take it the way that they've intended for you to receive your medicine. And I know that sometimes this can seem like quite a daunting process, but really in the end, it's quite as simple as making a tea. There are of course a couple of differences. A tea is only going to steep for a short amount of time, whereas when you make a decoction, it simmers for a much longer time. So the resulting liquid is going to be most likely darker, fuller bodied, and more concentrated. You'll probably have a stronger smell and taste along with that. So what we're going to do today is to take you through the basic step-by-step -step of how to make a decoction to take what does seem a little daunting and show you just how simple it can be. Uh, the process we're going to go through right now is for just a general decoction. What you may have in front of you may have some specialized elements to it as your individual practitioner has customized your formula for you. We'll review those in a second video, but this particular video will allow you to get a general framework for how to make a decoction so that you can adapt it when you make yours. So enjoy and be well. Let's take a look at what it is you'll need from your kitchen to make your decoction. In addition to your herbs, you're going to need a large pot with a lid, one able to hold about three quarts or more. You'll need to have a strainer, preferably a mesh strainer because it'll help to get the finer particulate matter out, but you can make a larger strainer like this work in most cases as well. Then you'll need to have a bowl as well as a spoon or a ladle a liquid measuring cup, and then either a pitcher, some jars, or other lidded containers to hold your decoction in the refrigerator once it's made. Always use glass, lead-free ceramic, or stainless steel pots and utensils when decocting because plastic, aluminum, or coated cookware may leach unwanted chemicals into your formula. Not the best medicine. If your formula bag contains smaller bags of herbs, then you should also watch the second video in this series before you start decocting your formula. The second video is called Special Preparations, and it deals with herbs that need to be cooked longer or shorter than the basic decoction. For the rest of this particular video, we'll assume you don't have any such little bags in the formula you've received from us. Our first step today is for you to take your formula bag Open it on up and pour your with a nice thunderous sound into your pot. You can fold up your bag and compost it if you please. All the bags from Inner Ecology are compostable. Or you can return it to Inner Ecology for our own composting on your behalf. Next, what you're going to do is take water, filtered water, please and enough of it to go ahead and cover your herbs. The amount of water that you may need for your individual decoction is going to vary according to the volume that your prescription contains. It really can vary anywhere from two cups to eight cups or beyond just depending on that volume. So what you're really gonna to wanna to do is get a general sense of when it is that you've covered all of your herbs. These are all pretty well covered and you can see that some of them are floating to the top, but there's plenty of water in there for us to be able to decoct properly. So all we're gonna do now is leave our herbs to soak for a good half hour. Welcome back. It's been about 30 minutes. I let it go a little longer. You don't have to worry if you let your herbs soak a little longer than the 30. 
And what I'm doing is just going ahead and checking the level of liquid. It looks like in this case, the herbs I'm using to show you today still have plenty of water remaining in the pot. So in this case, I don't need to add any extra water. If you've ever noticed that your herbs have absorbed too much water and it looks like they're no longer properly covered, then what you'll wanna do is simply go ahead and add a little extra water so that they're covered sufficiently to cook. So we'll put the lid on our pot and turn on the burner so that we can bring it on high heat up to a boil. Now that we're at a healthy rolling boil, go ahead and turn the temperature down to low or low medium so that we can allow it to reduce to a very happy simmer where it's going to stay, in this case, for a half hour, but you'll wanna follow the instructions given to you by your practitioner. I've checked on my decoction a couple of times since we began just to make sure that it wasn't simmering too aggressively. And if you ever find that when you check on your formula, it is by any chance going too high, you just need to make sure you turn down the heat and bring it back down to a happy simmer. So what we're gonna do now is to turn off the heat. It's time to strain out our decoction. Now remember, this is not spaghetti in this pot. Your actual medicine is your liquid decoction. So don't pour it down the drain. What you wanna do is set your strainer inside a bowl. Pour your formula into it. You'll press down with a spoon to get the final bits of liquid out of your herbs. And you have your first decoction. Now at this phase, many practitioners will instruct you to do a second decoction. If that is in your instructions, it's simple. All you need to do is take the remaining herbs, put them back, into the same pot, add water, and follow the decoction instructions the same way that you did the first time. You don't have to do any soaking, and you don't have to do any further pre-decocting at this point. Everything's ready for your cook. Otherwise, you're welcome to compost your herbs that remain, the dregs, as long as they are, uh, as long as they are plant material. All right, now comes the very fun part. We have to do a little bit of math. Right here in this sample formula, I have three days worth of medicine. Your amount of days of medicine may be a little different depending on how your, how your practitioner has prescribed for you. In this case, what I'm gonna do is measure the amount of cups that I have in this final liquid. So here we go, two cups. Perfect. And four cups. So we know that we are going to divide four by three days, which will leave us with roughly one and one third cup per day. And what I have awaiting here is some beautiful storage jars Again, you can choose your own storage option, but what I typically recommend is that you divide your decoction into daily doses. So in this case, again, since we have our one and one third per day, I would go ahead and measure out one and one third cup for each of these and send them on to the refrigerator. <laughs> 